So what do you call a seal that has lost an electron? Well, you would call that a seal ion. Get it? See? Lion. Lion. Ah! <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so let's talk about what an ion is first. An ion is basically gaining or losing of electrons, okay? That's what an ion is, it's gaining or losing of electrons. So you'll have two kinds here. So obviously you're either gaining or losing. So if you are gaining electrons, that's what we're gonna call an an ion. And so if we remember, electrons are negative, right? Negative charged. So if I gain something, if I gain more negatives, then my overall charge on an anion is going to be more negative, okay? You're gaining negativity, okay? Now, the other kind, if we lose, okay, if we lose, then it's going to become a, what we call a cat ion. Meow. And it's even in the name there. A cat ion, and if you think about it, that T, think about a positive because you get more positive, a positive charge if you are a cat. Meow. Ion, okay? So, I'll write this for you here. This is more negative. And here you come more positive, okay? More positive. So we're gonna work on this sheet. I'm gonna help you do the first one here, which is Li, and you're gonna to need to use your periodic table because you're gonna gain a lot, all the information just about off of your periodic table. So what is above the symbol? Well, that would be your atomic number. And in this case, it is three, right? We gotta have the name. So this is lithium. So I'm gonna spell it here. Getting it straight off the periodic table. Basically the cheat sheet, right? Then we're gonna take our mass number for lithium, which is 6.938. Your periodic table may be a little bit different depending on how they round that number, but that should be pretty close. So now we got our protons, neutrons, and electrons. So remember we have the protons the atomic number, which is three, but now we're gonna worry about the charge here. So I'm gonna put a P, protons are positive. Remember neutrons here, they're, they don't have any charge at all, but remember I am taking my, my, mass, my mass number, which is the decimal number, and I'm gonna round it to a whole number, which is seven, and then remember I'll subtract the protons from, which is gonna give me what? Four, so I will have four neutrons. Okay, and now remember, we're gonna do neutral here. So if it's neutral, remember positives and negatives offset each other. So my electrons, which are negative, and if I had same protons, I would then have three. All right, if you look on periodic tables, some periodic tables, and you're gonna to have to Google this because I don't think we have the periodic tables that show whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas, but I will tell you on this one, uh, lithium is a solid, okay? All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna start worrying about the electrons down here, and I'm gonna do a little E negative. You're gonna see that a lot this year. That represents a electron. You see it right here too. So we got rings, and I think you probably learned this in eighth grade, but we'll kind of go through this. So we're gonna start putting our electrons. Remember, in the nucleus, you have your protons, right? And your neutrons but the rings around it are the electrons. And on the first ring, we can only ever place two. It only holds two electrons. So how many do I have total? Three, but two of those can go on that first ring. So I've taken up two of my three. Now I gotta have somewhere else. So we go to the next outermost energy level ring. And so my next one, cause I have three, will go out there. So remember this next one, 
This actually could hold up to eight if we needed to, okay? It will hold up to eight, all right? So that should help you kind of do your neutral side of this sheet. We'll come back to the Lewis structures here uh, in a little bit, so don't worry about those uh, right now.